Good morning, girls. How are we doing? Back here with Foodie Beauty. This is a four course keto low carb meal. Like, low carbs kind of imply keto, but sure, whatever. Mukbang. That's just lots of words kind of just put together. I had to skip my 40 seconds into it because obviously we got like her intro and then we got her cameo and then we got her like randomly filming her cat again because I guess she just needed more film footage. Like, this is like 23 minutes long, near enough. Like, Jesus Christ. Uh, 293. Now it's higher than it was for her previous, like, too fast that she showed us. I think it was like 260 was one of them, and then like 230-ish, I think was one of them, or like 210s, something like 213, I think it was like 213 or something like that. So this is considerably higher <laughs> than, than, than her other fast. Bit suspicious, let's go. All right, so this is my fasting blood sugar for today. Uh, that's the wrong time on the monitor. I'm gonna fix it now, actually. And what time is it, it? So yeah, higher. Why, I see, I, it's like I said in the last one, why, why are you keep drawing attention to this? I mean, oh, it's the wrong time on it, even though, like, obviously, because she was changing the times, and she's lying and stuff like that, or but, like, why aren't you just telling us, oh, that's the wrong time, it says 10.23, uh, for some reason, it's been three days, I'm too lazy to change it whatsoever, uh, actually, it's 8 p.m., or something like that. Higher than yesterday, a bit. Quite a bit, good, so. quite a bit higher Hi than yesterday. Welcome back. It's, my, 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 my diabetes is worse than before. It's higher than it was yesterday. Hi, guys! <laughs> What a fucking change in attitude. Oh my god, fantastic. Oh, this looks uh, a bit stanky. I don't like when it's like it's sweaty. You know when it's sweaty on the inside of the egg? Like, you know, it's like all steamy up inside and the water's dripping back down into the food. I don't like that. Once you get it cooked, open it up, let that steam out there. Another video. So today I have some diet food. It's food from a diet center. Why did you see quotation marks there? Low carb keto menu. Sure. Um, I'm going to explain everything that I, I got. I can't wait. Um, there's a lot of diet centers in Kuwait. Um, yeah, because it's super obese. obesity issue. Yeah. If you look it up. You have an obesity issue. So, you have an obesity issue. Like I just go on assuming everyone's just like you and they're all just constantly getting on diets and quitting diets constantly. Is that say, oh, it's diet care. I saw it from a distance. I thought it said diet cake and I was like, fucking course. Oh, this is going to be bad because I'm, like, I'm kind of curious. I wonder if she's going to tell us what the price of these are because a lot of like keto friendly meals and all are just ridiculous. That's what I say. Find something you like and just eat that because if you can't enjoy what you're eating on keto, you're not going to succeed in keto. And you, the, the cheap stuff can just be the simple stuff like bacon and eggs, shit like that, like mushrooms. That can be the that can be the easy stuff you have on keto that you just have every single day. There's some stuff that'll be more expensive, but it, it doesn't have to be expensive. I think a lot of people, when they think keto, they think these kind of diet meals and they're generally ridiculously overpriced. Makes sense they have a lot of diet centers. Yeah, so. imagine. All right, so I have some waters to drink. Oh, crazy. Very uninteresting, but why, why do you always have tiny baby bottles? Like, I'm just curious. Is it because you're kind of like, guys, look, I drank two bottles of water. Mm -hmm. It's like, yeah, but the children's size bottles of water, like, so it's not even like one adult bottle. So I have a salad, patouche with soybeans and feta. Okay. It's aggressive. Get in there. Rub it apart. Okay. Oh my God. I See, most people would just like skip or have them all open or something like that. But Foodie, because she's ripping you off. Yes, you, the viewer. She is deliberately fucking with you and wasting as much of your time as possible. But like, oh, one second. Oh, I need to wrap this here. Oh, I'm going to, where should I put this bit of rubbish? Oh, it's me. Oh, I need to take the lid off. Oh, why did I put the lid now? Okay, one second, guys. That. It is just to fucking waste your time. It is just so she can fit. Like, we're 144 into this. She's already had an ad. She's already had an ad, but Rick, guys. And this is the dressing. This is their low-carb yep. section. And what, what what is the dressing? It's so low-carb dressing. What does, what does that mean? The traffic is loud, I'm sorry. Uh -huh. So this has soybeans, feta, radish. Whoa, Lol. BB gad. No, no, oh, no, no. She's no, so no. annoyed. No, oh, no. look how annoyed she got. Bro, this ain't that serious. This is a shitty mukbang of a diet you already have failed. Calm your fucking tits. Jesus Christ. Oh, bees are alert. Ah, oh, yeah, the text flashing up there. That really that really changed my attitude on that you're really fucking annoyed that your cat got up because, like, that was the thing at the start. You know the thing I scared with her just annoying her cat? Her cat was sitting there staring at the food because her cat is probably fucking starving. Like, it's why in the last one, every time she went near a cat or had her cat featured, I just instantly skip it. Because she's a monster. She's an animal abuser. I don't want her anywhere near cats. So the fact that she keeps including her cat in these things because she's trying to prove to people that she's like not an animal abuser, but every single time we see her interact with an animal, 
it just confirms it more. <laughs> it's fucking ridiculous. Jesus no, Christ, no, no. she's such so an idiot. <laughs> Ah, uh -huh. tee oh, oh, beep beep gal, oh, tee -hee. oh, oh, whoopsie dipsies that I showed you there, oh, tee -hee. Bro, I would have maybe just cut, like, the entire first bit out, like, not get annoyed, and then go, oh, oh tee, uh, tee -hee. I'm so happy, yo, oh, that's too funsies. Like, it, you, we do know, we saw your initial reaction. The fake now reaction doesn't really count. Yeah, I'm just gonna skip till the cat's gone. Um. Yeah, sure, yeah. You know, salad, cucumber, tomato, feta. I'll show you in a minute. Yeah, thanks. It smells like a mustard, like a balsamic dressing, kind of. Sure, I don't it, they give I'm you enough dressing. pretty sure it says... Yeah, maybe it shouldn't have given you two packets to be fair. It's kind of pointless. It has taken her, like, two minutes and 40 seconds to show us the first thing she's going to eat. Jesus Christ. Beans, feta cheese, salad stuff. Th th salad And now I have stuff. a cream of chicken soup. Uh-huh. This is the place I love their pumpkin parmesan soup, but... I decided to try the cream of chicken. Sure. I'm you look sure like you go to the pumpkin. diet care place a lot. It's Swedish, but it's like... Why are you eating all of this? Like, that, that's quite a portion of soup. Like, I know she's doing the one meal a day, but it's like, I don't know if you kind of like four things together as one meal. Not Swedish, but it's sweet-ish. But... What? I think it's on the lower glycemic index, if I'm not mistaken. I have to look that up for sure. Uh, I believe it's part of the lower glycemic index. Yeah, guys, you know, I know what I just said there, bro. <laughs> okay, <laughs> whatever. You're the one shocked that your blood sugar was on par with maple syrup a fucking day ago. Don't be, I believe this is on the low end of the glycemic index. Thank you very much. Okay, bro. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Diet advice for Chantal. <laughs> Jesus Christ. Okay. Oh my god. And then we have the main course, but I'm gonna eat this mm. first. Actually, I'll eat them all at once, whatever. Yeah, this no, no shit, it's you. Uh, kushari mix with butter chicken, cauliflower rice with fried onions. That seems like a lot. Okay. And then for dessert... Are we not gonna see that? Cheesecake. Okay. So it uses sweeteners. No. Artificial sweetener, very small. Portion. Maybe just cut this out. Why is this here at all? You don't need this. I'm also going to tell you, red velvet. Like, is it was that? It looks like a red velvet there, like keto red velvet, keto anything, keto any form of sweet thing. Fucking rough. I'm like, I'm going to see how this affects my blood sugar. Um, if it raises it too much, it's well, then I know keto. What? Okay. Yeah, um, butter chicken. I have heard people say, because obviously I don't have to be worried about this whatsoever because I'm not like literally a land wheel that's 80% butter. But apparently, keto is actually bad for people with diabetes because the ketones that's produced are bad for your kidneys, which is like, yeah, kind of to be expected for like, you generally have to be like somewhat healthy to do keto because keto is a bit rough. But uh, yeah, someone said it. I, I don't know if they're, if they're tell, telling the truth. I don't know if it's 100% accurate or not. Maybe it is for some people. Maybe it is for some, isn't for some people. I'm not 100% sure. But yeah, maybe if she's trying to do keto, it's not the greatest idea. But at the same time, you're just sitting going like, I wonder if she asked her doctor. Because you get to the point where like Amber Lynn would say, I spoke to like, so many fucking experts. And, oh my God, they have told me that I'm firstly amazing and the greatest person ever. I'm the most likely person in the entire history of the universe to beat diabetes. That's literally what they said to me. It was absolutely crazy. But also they told me I should have this diet. That's usually what Amber Lynn would go for. Fruity really hasn't done that. She's just like, I'm just going to do a diet to fix this. And then it seems to be keto that she's doing. <laughs> you know, also thank you to people who explained to me what dirty keto was. As someone who does like actual keto, I'd never heard of dirty keto before. Cause I just like, I don't go near any fucking carbs or any sugars whatsoever when I'm doing keto. Mainly because I knew that she was like, oh, well, you can have under seven grams of this if you have over this. And she's like, I don't know. I ain't doing math. We all know how bad I am in math. I ain't doing math. I'm just having fucking meat, <laughs> meat and eggs. Fuck you guys. <laughs> Cauliflower rice and fried onion. It looks fine, right. I guess. It's like a, right, quite a healthy, right. it's quite a hearty I'm portion. Really Shut up. It's quite a healthy portion. Like, which, if she's doing one meal a day, I guess it's really not that bad all, all, all together. I couldn't even guess what the calories on it. Because this cream of chicken soup is probably hefty enough with, with calories. This probably shouldn't be a huge amount. This, I don't know, probably about 500-ish calories maybe off, off, off that there. It's not really too bad. It probably should still be under like 1,000 calories a day. Eat out as much as I used to. Like, I, this is a long time ordering. I haven't ordered in a while. but this Bro, you, you had like a mukbang three days ago. What? What's she saying? 
Also, this is the woman, remember, who was pretending that she was like, oh, I'm gonna, I'm gonna start tomorrow, guys. I'm deathly afraid of my blood sugar levels. Like, I could die. This is so dangerous, guys. I'll start tomorrow. <laughs> like, that kind of thing. And then she did that incredibly fake what I ate in the day, because for some reason, but she, like, claimed that she usually makes all of her stuff at home and she never brings in food, even though, like, most of her mukbangs are her bringing in food. Like, can we just, can we just not, bro? If you're the type of person to say, I'll start my life-saving treatment tomorrow, you're probably the person who went, you know what, I'll splash out tonight, though, before I start. This meal is pretty much free because we have a lot of points, so. <laughs> sure, yeah, 100%. Okay, let's try this bismillah. Mm, she hates it. Lemon. Oh my god, she fucking hates it again. I love that for me. At least we don't have to deal with Chicken that. Bits, herbs. Oh my god, holy shit, there's like, it's like a conveyor belt. <laughs> it's like Santa's fucking workshop in here. It's just like one after the other. It's never fucking stopped. It's like, scoop, mmm, scoop, mmm, scoop, mmm, scoop, mmm. <laughs> there's no savoring. She hates it. She is trying to plow through it as quickly as she can, but her body's like, bro, can we stop with this shit? Mm. Oh, fantastic. Oh my god, she missed her mouth again. How the fuck does she miss her this mouth so salad. often? Try the salad. Yeah, I, I bet you're really looking forward to this salad. Oh, it looks rough. I hate salad. The feta? I'm one of those people, like, do you know what? Probably one of the biggest reasons why I decided to do keto as opposed to, like, pff, fucking whatever this shit, this shit is. It's just, I hate salad. Salad is, like, the most depressing thing in the entire world. If it's, like, this type of salad. Like, I don't mind, like, a spinach salad or something like that. But if it's this type of thing, where it's, like, oh, here's a depressed piece of fucking lettuce at the bottom. Oh, here's the crunchy stem bit of the lettuce. That's disgusting. Like, iceberg lettuce. I don't get how people like iceberg lettuce. It's crunchy water. I've heard someone describe it as that. It is so fitting. I don't... I don't get salads. I just don't. They're just... They're just disgusting. And it's like, oh, but that's because you got to put sauce on it. It's like, then I could just, why don't I just have a sandwich and I could just dip it in sauce or something like that? Because if you have to just go like, oh, well, at least the sauce tastes nice, the sauce can go with anything. Why should I have to eat crunchy water with the fucking sauce? Thanks for coming to my TED Talk. Mm. I don't know where that meow is coming from. It was, oh, it's coming from my house. Okay. I heard meow and I wasn't sure if it was Julia going or if it was Chonker going. And I'm assuming it's Chonker going because Squeaker's sitting here looking at me and Goober's here too. So, yeah, thanks. Thanks for cleaning it up for me. Sorry. <laughs> what are you shouting for? Oh, Squeaker's chasing after him now. I love that dressing. Yep. <laughs> this is what I said about salads. She eats all that. She goes, mm, the dressing though. Because <laughs> that's it. That's all you care about. You might as well just drink the fucking dressing. <laughs> I need to get some balsamic. Yep. I'm amazed she just doesn't pour this fucking soup on top of it. Um. I, I just want to include that because it was the most fitting thing for Chantel. Just scoop, scoop, scoop. Um. Scoop. <laughs> Because <laughs> she just has nothing. There is nothing. We're just doing one of these again. It's nothing. Like, absolutely nothing. Holy shit. No wonder her view counts are fucking dying. Oh, Jesus. It's, it, there's nothing. There's not even interesting stories or anything. The guy's like, I'm having soup. So, soup. And, um, yeah, it's soup. That's it. That's all we've had. They give you so much soup. Mm. They give you so much soup. <laughs> I told you. It's just soup. That's all you hear about. She's a demon of soup. It's gonna be less messy to just drink it. Hi, unlike you. Look at fucking cats behind you. Feed the fucking cat before you do these. Jesus Christ. So, um, you saw my blood sugar reading. I don't know why it's so high. Cause you're fat. Maybe stress. I don't know. Cause you're fat. Stress. Okay. <laughs> okay. Oh, maybe it's because of all that exercise I did yesterday. Like, I walked, I walked, like, uh, I, I would estimate at least six miles. Like, at least six miles. Because that beach is six miles away from our house. And I'm just going to pretend I walked there instead of getting in the car. <laughs> like, I, what the fuck? Yeah, maybe it's like a person said, maybe, maybe keto is not a good idea for someone who's diabetic. Who fucking knows? I don't know. Maybe it's because you, like, lie and you definitely aren't eating, like, one meal a day. Maybe it's that. Because she's not, like, starting this by talking about how hungry she is, how her head hurts or anything like that. Because if you're, like, super morbidly obese and you're used to eating, like, 4,000, 5,000 calories a day and you suddenly cut down to, like, 800 calories a day, like I think it was she had yesterday, your head will be hurting. 
and you'll already be starting to feel like hunger pangs that just fucking like, tear through you. But no, it was not, none of that today. It's like, oh, here's my blood sugar, guys. Yeah, I'm going to try have uh, this soup, guys. And that's it. There's no talk about being hungry. No talk about feeling unwell because of it. Anything like that. So maybe that's why. Maybe it's because you're still eating shit behind the scenes. It does take time for it to go down. I know. But, but it, yeah, but it shouldn't be going up. It should, if, you, if you have nothing, like, sugar-related, it shouldn't be going up. Look how gross that fucking thing is. That meal last night that I had, that I did my mukbang. Oh my fucking Christ. Well, you, actually, last night you said it wasn't a mukbang. You said it was just you sitting down, having dinner, and talking to us. You know, you know, like, I, ca I called you out for it, because that doesn't make sense, because that's what you previously claimed mukbangs were. But, you know, okay, sure. We're, we're just doing that thing again where we're getting like wor one word, bite, a couple more words, chomp, a couple more words, slurp. It's just like, ch bro, if the sentences were interesting enough to put together, like to actually form, for me to go and cut them out and actually form a real sentence out of them, that would be, that'd be one thing, I guess. But when it's just like, yeah, so I had dinner last night. It's like, yes, I know, bro, I was there. After it started, my <clears throat> I started digesting the food. Uh-huh. Hi, there's nothing here for you. Yeah, shut up. Um, that is the fucking cheapest pile of shit. How much did this cost? Because that fucking cauliflower rice, gross by the way, it, it, it's like super stodgy and sticky looking like. And then it, that literally, it is a millimeter thick layer of fucking covering before you get to black plastic underneath. Terrible. Felt like my heart beating. Sure, um, yeah. I was extremely thirsty. You're incredibly stupid, but you know, whatever, sure. I had a headache. Okay, well that's the one time. I flushed. Um. Fucking, what a story. I'm, I'm, I'm hooked on every single line here. Oh my so God. So my issue is also not only blood sugar, but also oh my high God. blood pressure, so. No, really? 450 pound woman with high blood pressure? You're lying to me. That's like impossible. Your heart should be super healthy and not at all enlarged or anything like you claimed last year. My meal had a lot of sodium. Okay. Despite, so? Despite, you know, halloumi is very salty. Olives are salty. Okay. We didn't eat olives, you fucking idiot. Was there, was there olives in that? It was chicken with halloumi, uh, eggplant, and tomato, right? Apart from that, it was like cashews and yogurt and like, what was the other thing? Cashews, yogurt, kiwi fruit. Um, so it was those. Was there olives there? Like, and also, generally, most of what I just mentioned there wasn't salted. Like, what, were the, the cashew thing were salted. So yeah, there's ca the cashews were salted and the halloumi was salted. Okay. Like, that's not a lot. Compared to what she usually eats... It's not super salted. Like, we've seen her eat. We've seen the amount of fast food she can tuck away. If she can tuck away that amount of fast food, a couple of chunks of halloumi is not going to send her into, like, a heart heart attack fucking stage or something like that. So, like, this is just silly. Also, those are optionals. You didn't even need to include them in your meal. The chicken breast is frozen, so maybe it's, like, pre-seasoned. I don't know. It's what? plain, but... What? It's also like a recurring theme with like fucking uh, morally obese people uh, 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 online who make themselves into lol cows. You're kind of just sitting there going like, bro, are you blaming the chicken? Not that you're like fucking 39, 450 pounds have literally never been under 200 pounds. Like except when you're shot out by your mom. Apart from that. No, no, it's just a chicken. Just a chicken. I'm a, I'm a health queen over here. The chicken? I think someone maybe uh, seasoned it first. <laughs> Disgusting guy. Bro, I've seen you fucking breathe in like KFC, McDonald's. All of them are way fucking saltier. I don't know what it is, but... You're morbidly obese. There you I go. have to limit the cheese and olives because cheese is very... And not just that, I don't have a gulp. Not all not all cheese is salty. <laughs> Now, I'm sorry, what what LARP are we going for here? Where it's just like, oh yeah, I'm, I'm struggling with this diet already. Oh, not my fault because I'm obviously not sticking to it because she just, come on, she's obviously not fucking sticking to it. If your blood sugar's gone up, it's not because she had salt. Like, what? It's like, oh yeah, that halloumi. Yeah, I'm going to have to cut back on that. And the olives, that I don't even know if they actually exist. I'm going to have to cut back on that. And maybe some evil person pre seasoned my chicken, I guess, or something like that. It's like, bro, you have breathed in a super size fucking mcdonald's fries those fries alone have more salt than everything in that meal combined butter i don't digest things that are high in fat well what 
You digest yourself well? <laughs> I see you eat high fat shit all the fucking time, bro. If you don't digest high fat things well, then you certainly shouldn't be fucking doing keto. Healthy fats, yeah. Like avocado doesn't seem to really bother me. But things like cheese, high fat dairy stuff. Bro, you eat loads of cheese. You have fucking heavy cream and shit like that. You've eaten plenty of burgers and KFC and deep fried stuff. Can we not suddenly act like, oh, I'm learning so much about myself in this fucking diet because I had a fucking maybe preseason slice of chicken and fucking some cheese. Oh, guys, the, the diet's falling apart because of that. It's like, bro, if you can have a bargain bucket to yourself and like a whole Popeye's chicken thing when she's doing the apology to Charlie Gold, pretty fucking sure you can have like two blocks of halloumi. You're fine. Like that. Don't agree with my stomach, sure. as you all know. My cheese emergency. Like 80% of what you bought in the supermarket in those holes was fucking cheese. What are you talking about? My cheese emergency was I had to go to the ER because I had a gastric crisis due to eating too much cheese. Not my proudest moment. Yeah. <laughs> but on a grading scale, meth pipe to abusing cat, where does the cheese fit between those two? Or are we going like laughing about your granny's death? Or are we going about like the Cuba Ridge? Where are we going with this? Could we potentially be going during the Cuba Ridge when you took a picture of your, your Vagaga or whatever the fuck she calls it? Well, where are the grading scale of things? Are we going to put having the shits from cheese so she went to ER? Where, guys, I don't know. I don't, I, I'm not as Chantel historian as you guys are. So I'm not sure of all of her individual balance. I'm not really sure. If we're doing a scale of 1 to 10, 10 being like, fuck, I don't know, BBJ just in general, everything to do with BBJ, and 1 being like, I don't know, she fired on camera. Where are we putting the fucking cheese? Where are we putting the, having to go to ER for cheese? I'm thinking like out of her life, that probably is only like a 3 still. The doctor was like, you really need to eat healthier. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. I mean, if you listen to him, we wouldn't be doing this thing where you're acting like you're about to die. Which, by the way, the way she's getting on, I fucking, I don't, I don't believe her diabetic shit whatsoever. That was one of the times, like, I went to the ER, explained my binge eating disorder that sure. I suspected I had, because I wasn't diagnosed at the time. You're not even diagnosed now. You, you haven't seen, been, been to therapy at all since then. And they referred me to their outpatient program there. I was waiting for us to get to the end of the story at some point. Because, so like, typically, typically the, their program, like, they have eight beds or something like that, six beds or something, and they're inpatient, and it's reserved for people. It's reserved for people. Oh, I'm glad we're telling this story about her needing help because of being such a big fatty fat fat that she ate too much cheese and nearly shedded herself to death. Uh, and how she was getting a referral for outpatients and binge eating disorders and everything like that. And we can't even get a sentence out. Without her, like, violently, either violently scraping every fucking ounce of, like, cauliflower rice off that that she can get. Or her sticking it in her fucking mouth. One of the two. Who have low, low potassium, stuff like, who are, like, medical risk. Low, low, low. Are we going back to that story again where she was, like, put in, like, inpatient somewhere. And she was put in the bed beside a girl with anorexia. And she used to take all of that girl's food. Because the girl didn't want the food. And she obviously wanted the food. Which just sounds like an entirely made up story. But all of her stories sound like entirely made up stories. But people with high height weight are also at medical risk. Maybe not as fast, but... Well, yeah. What the fuck? Is, is she out here trying to explain to us? It's like, do you know guys? The people who are like super morbidly obese... That's actually not good, and that's actually kind of risky for them. It's like, what? No. No. Chantel, you look like the picture of health. I didn't think we are doing this entire storyline because you're literally acting like you're about to die because of diabetes. And you're like, guys, I need to fix myself immediately or I'm going to die. And here she is out here explaining to me that, that fat people might not be healthy. <laughs> what? Fantastic. Um, so that was... Just because I know people are like, you need to go inpatient, you need to go inpatient. Um, in my town, what was covered by the government wasn't tailored to my kind of problem. I'm sure it probably actually was. You just don't want to do it. When you have to be that vague, it uh, wasn't uh, tailored uh, towards uh, me. 
probably was like I'm probably, I'm, I'm going to say it probably was like the the care for like super morally obese is definitely more there than it is for people who are like Eugenia Cooney level skinny you know it just is because there are a lot more fat people than there are super thin people so like yes the the, the care is actually more focused towards you for like having an addiction. She hasn't spoken in about a minute now. So. Oh, there you go. Sorry. I waited for one full minute for a... So instantly eat. I, I'm glad I waited that full minute for that. Mwah. Chef's kiss. Perfection. Is what I'm saying. When she's sitting there talking about like inpatient care and how things aren't suited for her and her life being in danger. All this kind of shit. And it's just like, oh yeah, I'm, I forgot. I'm literally just sitting here watching her monetize her eating disorder. I forgot about that, guys. Here, here, we, here we are. That was good. I'm filming my dinner because. Oh, I can't wait for this. I don't have a lot going on today. You don't have a lot going on in your life in general. You don't actually seem to leave your apartment. Like, like you just don't. Oh, I'm filming my dinner because I don't have a lot going on today. It's like, oh, just like the last 78 days in a row. Like, you, you, you are aware you do daily mukbangs, which is you filming your dinner. Like, are you, you are aware of that, right? I'm just, you know, I'm just doing it today because I don't have much going on. What is this? Like, really? Jesus Christ. Like, and that was, like, the first thing she said in, like, two minutes. You know, apart from that, she goes, I, li I like feta. Yeah, it's pretty good feta. Hmm. Very good meal. Portioned out. I'm trying to avoid going on meds because... I oh, can't wait for this I as well. I wasn't metformin at one time. What? Like I said, this, this is the, the battle that we have. The battle that we have as she sits there plowing fucking food into her. And you're just sitting like, okay, bro, I get it. Cool. Can we just... Can we... Can we, can we, ju can we just not? Can we just... Can you just finish the sentence... For once. So people aren't like battling around your fucking bites to eat. That ending came out of fucking nowhere. She just was like, okay, that's the end of it. Bye. Because of course it was just her sitting there. Just, just saying stuff. And pretty much all it was is that she's just trying to give reasons why she can't go on medication for diabetes. And why she's instead doing this. And it's hard on her mental health. And the reason she can't do that, like... Di take diabetes medication is she mentioned one I don't know, know what one it was is it oh it makes me sick because I had it before because they thought it was insulin resistant so I took it for and it made me sick so I can't have it uh, and then it was Ampeg's like I think it's like a lawsuit or something like something something like that it's something like that I, like, I have to look it up but it's something like that so I won't take it and that was pretty much it and then she says she's a sorry that she keeps talking about diabetes so often uh, and she usually keeps so much of her life secret, but only her relationship stuff secret because it's respectful to keep her relationship stuff secret. But she's okay talking about her own stuff because like, she just is. And then she was okay, bye. And then that was it because I I I, I have no idea. I have no idea. I guess she probably heard the fucking pizza guy about to knock the front door, and she's like, oh, she's, we're, we're done by. And she just quickly fucking slapped the camera into fucking space. Uh, really terrible. We're just gonna go straight into the next video. Okay, I guess we're just going to start here with this because we're a minute in. And she did, of course, her introduction, her cameo thing. And then, like, spent, like, 30 seconds genuinely just deep breathing at her hamster because the microphone is, like, right next to her fucking mouth. And all you hear is... <laughs> Have you got a stick? And it's like, bro, how the fuck are you deep breathing from standing there? And now she's showing us these, I guess... So, yeah, it's called, yep, I'm doing it again, dot, 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 don't spoil it for me already, where it looks like she's heading towards doing, like, water fast or something like that, because I was entirely right, and I knew that the, the keto thing would literally last those three videos, and it looks like it lasted just those three videos. Uh, so, I, let's go. Have some marigolds. Oh my god, she actually has that fucking hat. <laughs> she brought that fucking hat back. Oh my god. Uh, Chantal, I will pay you 10000 uh, Canadian dollars, which is like five pounds, I think, for for you to ship me that hat. Uh, don't wash it first. Don't wash it. I want to. I want to smell it. Kind of outdoor plants. I just watered them yesterday. Yep, most plants are outdoor plants. Here. The sun does shine. 
as people frequently point out with Chantel, it's really weird that they have like a hat rack here. I was coat rack, I know, but a hat rack too. Uh, and Salah has a lot of hats. There's no Salah hats on there. There's no Salah anything ever, ever really showing ever in her apartment. Kind of suspicious. Right on them here, like in the day. Yeah, so before sure. we go to bed, we open the Yeah, the curtain. before we now, go to bed, Some of them are sure. starting to bloom. But I'm some trying them, to take care of them. In some, some of them have bloomed. And we'll see what? how it goes. <laughs> so we don't have an outside space, but they smell nice yeah. and they brighten up the room a bit. No, so. no beachside garden? Oh. So for those of you wondering, this is the wet food I feed my cat, Julia. I literally don't care. Hello, guys. Yeah. Welcome back to another... I feel like it's going to be my natural reaction every time I see her ever. In particular, when she's going for this look, when she has the black hole look going. Because uh, it's suspicious. She seems to be wearing this one so much recently and it's pretty tight on her. She is definitely going to have to move up size yet again. But like anytime she goes for this... Where she has like the weird filters on, and she has like the the red lipstick. She looks her. I don't know how she doesn't understand. This is her worst look, but she does it constantly. Video. Um. So today is also. I just realized that literally the first two minutes of this were just nothing. They were just filler content. I guess it was just kind of there, and then it's like, oh, okay, never mind, and then we just kind of moved on from. Like, it, was, it was just like, oh yeah, I feed my cat. Sometimes, I guess. You probably wouldn't believe me because my cat always looks fucking starving. But, you know, sometimes, I guess. Okay. It's going to be a video that's going to make you roll your eyes and probably freak I out in the comments. Usual. You know what my favorite thing is? See, the filter tries to handle what I can see of her face because it's like, okay, I'm a filter. I'm smart AI, but I'm not actually that smart of an AI. So it tries to do what it can with her face to try and make it look like less just fucking ridiculous. But the problem is because she has the fucking... Uh, a bio hijab well, can't, i honestly cannot remember for the life of me what it's called anymore the hijab on um it can't do anything because it doesn't register like anything from like the black line on as face so that is where you get to see like her chin sticks out further than her fucking cheeks <laughs> so if you ever want to see how big she is just look there because the, the this thing the computer don't i don't know what to do with this but um look at that it's like a girdle i think i bitch has a fucking chins in a jock strap want to try this wow. before I do anything else. I literally so, don't care, bro. Um, I will show you my blood sugar reading here. Fast. This is fasting for over 24 hours. Blood sugar reading. No, you, no, it's it's not. It's not. You're not you're not fasting for over 24 hours. You're not suddenly doing 24 hour like um fast without issue, especially when your last video came out already. So like, so, can we can we can we not? Can we not? It's just silly. Okay, so. This is my Why would you fucking change this in the middle of the recording? This is so bizarre. Fasting. Blood. I have been sleeping all day. Sure you have. I'm not feeling well today, actually. I sure, 100%. So, she's considering a fast thing when she sleeps, so I'm, I'm assuming, which a lot of people do. But, like, I don't believe it's a 24-hour fast. I don't believe that she has gone 24 hours without eating. Especially when the last thing she ate was 800 calories. And the thing before that that she apparently ate was also 800 calories. There is no way whatsoever that she has eaten across a period of, like, four days 1,600 calories. Because she would be burning weight quickly and she would she would feel like shit, but it wouldn't be this kind of feeling shit. It's like, I've been fed all day. So. I don't know. Yeah, Sigh more. Important. I might feel sorry for you eventually. I'll try to put the conversion there for you, but my blood fasting. Why do you keep changing was it? Yesterday, 2.30, which is. I'll put the conversion here somewhere, so. I'm curious because I don't, I, I don't, I don't know or anything like that, but she claims it was 2.30. Um. But it wasn't it wasn't yesterday it wasn't it wasn't two thirty it was like in the the two sixty because I remember saying it was higher than the other one by quite a bit but okay so sweet so two hundred is eleven how is how would two thirty be sixteen that doesn't seem to work like right via the math but I think it's like sixteen oh so it is down sure. some points which is really good so I'm just gonna continue to drink water today um, I also love it's eleven point nine she's called it eleven <laughs> but that's what we like to call wishful thinking. <laughs> <laughs> don't, 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 don't know how, in any way you got 11.9 down to I just I, we'll just call that 11 okay bro on it I won't let it go too too low yeah sure but I don't think I'll have that problem yeah but well, we'll you're see. diabetic <laughs> so I did my mukbang video the diet food yesterday and then uh -huh. I have been water fasting sure yeah for over 24 hours now so um hi 
How have you been doing it for over 24 hours now if you had a mukbang yesterday? Like, what? <laughs> I don't, I'm not assuming that makes sense to me because it seemed pretty late at night when you're doing that mukbang. Unless it is literally the day after the next day and it's like 1 a.m., then that might make sense. But if it's still the next day, I don't really think it's a 24 hour bin, uh, a water fast we've really had going on here. I. It seems to be working. That's a good like sentence. My blood sugar has gone down. Sure. Um, but it's not real. It's like literally points. imaginary. So yesterday it was. Like yesterday it was 16 when I tested it. Um, and now that's MMO. M -O oh M -M -O my god. Why I'm do we keep changing it? Which is what I'm used to. But I'll do the conversion here. So 11 is just about 200 um, MGDL. So. Um, I, I love we're just reliving bit, so this again. About that. Now, I will be monitoring it very closely to make sure that it doesn't get too low because, you know, I hear people saying, well, it's dangerous for people with um, diabetes, diabetes to um, fast. Um, I have no idea. Might be, might not be. I, would say I don't believe anything with she says. Type 1 diabetes, yes, um, because they have problems with their blood sugar getting very, very low. I don't know about type 2. Um, but you're the one who has it. Wouldn't you like look this up? Wouldn't you ask a doctor? Wouldn't you like do any amount of research into this? <laughs> it's like when she first did the blood sugar thing and it showed her, she goes, I don't know, I think that's bad. And it's like, how the fuck would you just not look it up? <laughs> like, I, was, I, I looked it up, I looked it up on Google. It took like five fucking seconds. Why would you not, when you're getting that like that, that device from your doctor, Ask him about the disorder that you apparently have to try and work out what the fuck's happening during it. She's like, I don't know what I think, but maybe I'm, I don't really know. Do you know what? Dude said to me, you're type 2 diabetic. And I was like, okay, can I eat that? And then honestly, I just kind of drifted out because he said no. And when you say no to me, if I can eat something, I just kind of lose interest in the conversation. <laughs> I think that because this was more than likely caused there are genetic factors like every single person yeah sure family. genetic factors yeah, almost sure. every single person yeah family it's, has... it's the problem is her genetics that is that is the biggest problem with chantelle it is it's just a genetic it's not that she's 450 pounds and she eats like a fucking like family of six it, it it's the genetics guys oh mom oh you ruined it for me diabetes jesus but, christ um not this young in, in, in maybe it's because you so, all have bad lifestyles um, maybe it's that i think i can reverse it or put it into remission or whatever you want to call it you've already claimed because, you, yes, you guys before. were right technically when you look it up there's no cure but you can go down to um very you can go down yes to guys i guess you're right when you look it up you're the one who claimed that you already have cured your diabetes before like wouldn't you have looked it up back then like two years ago when you're pretending you cured it back then <laughs> normal sugar levels it's manageable to do that so my blood sugar level, Levels? my blood sugar levels are hyperglycemic, and if I go down to hypoglycemic, I will stop fasting and, and eat healthy, whatever. Um, sure, I'm I believe you. I'm gonna see how far I can go. I want to give my. I, I'm sorry. I just love that. This is like I don't know, like however many times she has pretended to have fucking diabetes at this point, and all this kind of shit. However many times she's claimed to have sudden, oh my god, I could be dead tomorrow, health issues. And out of all of this shit, she is just like, yeah, but yeah, guys, you know, what? I'm gonna, I'm gonna water fast. Literally, for non-stop until I become hypoglycemic. Then I'll just start eating again, but I'll eat healthily this time. It's like, bro, fucking, you know, whatever you say. Whatever you say. I'll, I, I can't wait to see it. System, a break. I'm honestly afraid to eat anything at this point. No, you're not. No, you're of not. how it affects my blood pressure, of how it affects No, me. you're not. Stop lying. She did She did this lie the first time she was doing the keto thing. She's like, guys, I have this video. I'm, not, I'm, just, I'm actually scared to eat it. It's like... You weren't scared enough the day before when you realized how bad it was and you're like, I'll start, I'll start tomorrow. I'm going to have a normal day's eating today. Then I'll start tomorrow. You weren't scared enough of eating then. So can we just not do this shit? My, my blood sugar levels and, you know, I've been reading the comments. That's what I also wanted to open up with this video and I never, <laughs> I've been I wanted to open reading my the comments. Yeah, you read the comments literally every single time your video comes out because you're like admittedly you do keep the comments open on some of your videos and then you read them and then you fucking delete every well like first you argue with them and then when you lose the argument then you delete the argument chain and you just delete their comment and act like it never happened. The video by saying this but I didn't get to. I just forgot. I'm sorry. Sure. I, this is what happens when you're not organized. Oh my god, do you know what, I'm just going to say, if she's about to do this like, fake thing, like, oh my god, there's so much love and support. If she's about to do it, I'm just going to skip this, because like, I, I don't care about her praising her own sock puppets, I don't give a fuck. I haven't been able to do a very prolonged fast, more than five days of water fasting, but in those five days, I keep saying this, I know I did 
my body did feel really good and I lost a significant amount of weight. Yeah, wasn't that also the time when you're actually like on like meth? <laughs> Like, wasn't it that? Wasn't it, like, not actual water fasting? Wasn't it, like, uh, you know, meth and, like, coke? Wasn't it more like that than, like, the water fast and everything? God. She pretty much just, yeah, like, obviously, she, she thanked everyone. Oh, my God, there's so much support for me. Oh, my God. And then the, pretty much then actually spun that. Because I thought this was going to be, like, oh, this is just pl pl blatant manipulation. Like, she's just sitting there. She has messed up with trying to call out FFG and the BBJ situation once again. She's looked really bad. Uh, Foodie Beauty's an animal abuser trended all over the place on Twitter and TikTok and all again because every single time she tries to poke the bear the bear pokes back and she can't handle it so I was like okay that's why we're doing this whole diabetes thing it's a run up to Christmas we need more money and she needs to kind of get people on her side again because she looks so fucking bad Obviously, it hasn't really worked out for her, but she wants to pretend that everyone supports her. And so the Amber Lynn thing, we've all seen it before. But then it's actually kind of like veered into her being like, yes, I know a lot of people seem to think that I should be on medication, but I'm going to try and cure it myself first. I was like, okay, bro. You know what? Why, why would you want to go and speak to like a medical professional about anything? I don't cure the medical professional for free. Well, I guess she's like an... She's not like a, a resident, so I guess it wouldn't be. I guess you'd probably have to pay for it. And she's absolutely broke, so that's probably why she doesn't want to. And I think that I have enough stored um, fat on my body and uh, energy in my liver. I really hope she actually is somewhat honest about this because this bitch could fucking last like two winters. That I need to give my body a break, you know. And it, no! is, it can be true really? with binge eating disorder to fast. You didn't. You don't even know if you have binge eating disorder. Like literally a second ago, you were seeing going like it was. It wasn't diagnosed. It wasn't sure about it. Like you have no idea if you have binge eating disorder. You've also claimed that you don't have binge eating disorder. You're the one who claimed that you have. When back when you were scared, the terms of service were changing. You're the one who said, actually, I haven't shit binged in ages, guys. Basically, since she came to Cuba, because she basically fixed her binge eating disorder, just like she fixed her diabetes. <laughs> like so, can we not? Can we not try and not use the binge eating disorder as an excuse? For why you're not very good at dieting when you literally just said that you haven't binged in fucking ages. But um, I have to do it. Like I have to do something drastic right now because I just, you know, anything. I feel like anything I eat just throws my system out of whack. You know, and this is the only thing so far that's been what? lowering my blood sugar. Like this is the, the biggest dent I've made. In maybe you should like I don't know speak to like a medical professional or something like that. I don't maybe you know maybe I, crazy crazy of me to dare even suggest that but if you're like eating stuff that doesn't include sugars and your blood sugar is spiking we, well we, we all know it's because she's lying to us and she still is eating sugary foods we we know that but i'm like what i'm doing here is called a role play me and her are, are role playing here so we bet can if i'm being honest with you wouldn't you like be like oh shit i'm not eating sugar my blood sugar's going up maybe i should get in contact with the doctor instead of like i don't know maybe you should just never eat again <laughs> like out of the two options i know which one i'd go for <laughs> lowering my blood sugar um you know since i've been trying to do something which isn't very long but yeah literally two um, days like, like, eating low carb that, that chicken dinner my, my blood sugar was still that my chicken blood sugar dinner. didn't go up but it didn't go down so no you claimed after, that it had gone up because you showed us the fast and the fast had gone up so you claimed that it had gone up bro it's like been a day how the fuck are you this how do you keep messing this up so badly and it's been like one fucking day and i was like well it actually didn't go up you literally just said it fucking did <laughs> I oh my god maybe a couple of days or so you're gonna be a sure. stroke bro um i'm having high blood pressure now fast, by the way and intermittent fasting can be lots of people you fast for a few days a week and eat a few days a week kind of thing uh -huh. but um i hope she I stops eating, explaining to dieting to me be doing you know clean food low carb yeah sure um that kind of thing can't wait so, can't wait um probably a cleaner keto just because uh -huh. um i don't have a gallbladder but uh, literally a Okay, she, this is about to be stupid again because she just said she can't handle fatty foods, but she's going to do a cleaner keto, which, like, yes, it means less processed, but it also generally means more fat. So it still wouldn't work out for her here. How do we have half of this video to go? She is, like, she's already just repeating points. It's, like, just, I don't know, she, like, for being a 1.25 speed, we're saying a lot of nothing very slowly. Low energy, even to make this video, so... My videos but might so, be a little, I'm somehow I made it 18 minutes, minutes long. You, guys. you never make them interesting. But That's fine. For the first few days, it's going to be rough, you know? I um, noticed we aren't doing any walking videos here. <laughs> We've canceled that part of the diet. What's right about fasting is that bad taste you get in your mouth. Anyone who's fasted for like more than a few days will know what I mean. I but don't yeah, know I have mean. like over 200 and I have like 200. No, I, I, I have to admit, I don't know what she means. I'm, I have fasted before. I don't I don't know what she means. But maybe maybe you don't get it if you drink plenty of water, which I, I just drink plenty of water. So maybe you don't get it. 
But like, I, I don't. I have to admit, I've done. Maybe if you guys get it, let me know. But I, I have to admit, I'm not sure what the bad taste is from fasting for a couple of days. I, I don't think I've ever got that. Fifty pounds or so, because for my height, I'm five foot one. Okay, uh -huh. I'm 155 centimeters. I think that's five foot one when you I convert it. Don't know. <clears throat> Excuse me. You're 450 I, pounds. My healthy weight range, if you look it up, is like 100 to Probably, like yeah. 120 pounds. Yeah. So anything over that is kind of considered like overweight for my height. It's considered and which is why I'm so round and shaped, why I look so big. Yeah. You know, especially from the it's side. Why you look so big? No, it's because you are so big. You're super morbidly obese. It's why I look so big. No, so it's why you are so big. It's not like an optical fucking illusion. You're not like a mirage in the fucking desert. I'm not going up to you because I think you're an oasis. It's like, oh, she's fucking huge because she's fucking huge. Because I'm, I'm apple shaped. I'm like ball shaped at this point. I'm so round uh -huh. because of Bump. how much I weigh. <laughs> and, you know, speaking of which, I want to say um, I've been getting a lot of lovely comments and I oh. shouldn't focus on any negative. Oh, we're, oh, we're going to focus on, if we're going to focus on the negatives, I'm not going to skip. But if you are going to like pretend it's positive, I'm going to skip. But I do see people still commenting um, and I think I know where it's coming from. There's a re there's oh my God. certain reaction channels that are just She's so hell bent. Going to cry about FFG know, again. Holy fucking finding shit. Finding something to, to complain about. So they go after my scale. Um, I've shown you guys my scale many, many times, and uh -huh. there's no function to mess with it, okay? You so, so? Also, I've been on... Are you too fair, you're literally showing... Oh, gosh, the anger's coming. This is where the rest of the video is. The anger's coming out. You can see it in the eyes first. Oh, she's so... This. I'm so sick. I'm so low energy. But there's these fucking bitches on <laughs> Just instantly. Instantly. The fucking war drums are fucking beat. Then she's here for it. Oh my fuck. Okay. You know what? Fucking pop off, miss. There's lots of ways to fuck with that skill. You're also potentially... Like, everyone has said you're over 400 pounds. Like, you just... Like, I'm sorry. You just look like you're over 400 fucking pounds. You're saying, well, it's because I'm kind of short. It doesn't mean, like, a fucking massive fucking difference, bro, okay? You're not Sony 360, what was it, one point she claimed? Two points? When she was 366 points in June. When you can clearly see that she is bigger now than she was then. That implies that your scale is wrong. If you're over 400 pounds, of course your scale is not going to get an accurate reading for you. Let's see how she goes. A scale before where, at the doctor, where the scale only goes up to 250 pounds, and... What will happen is the scale will go up to the 250 pounds. Like, and that will, it will max out at that. Nope, incorrect. So this scale goes up to, like, I think 400 pounds. Incorrect. That's not how that works. Well, actually, guys, once I stepped on a scale that's only 200, and it's, it just said of 250 pounds and stuff, uh, some scales say error, some scales just say, like, a fucking random number. They're not all the same. I'm trying to say, once I saw this happen, doesn't fucking mean anything. Wow, what a stellar defense here. God. Or 180 kg, which is, like, just shy of 400 pounds. Yeah. It would say 400 pounds. No, it like, wouldn't. It would either say 400 pounds. No, it wouldn't. It would say error, or it would just be like a bunch of numbers and zeros. Like it would Yeah, yeah, like 362.4. Like, you know, a bunch of numbers. Like 362.4. She's not helping herself here. It would just show some random numbers. Yeah, like 364.2. It <laughs> wouldn't be saying like consistently, you know, it's not 30 sure. to 40 pounds lighter than its limits. It, it it's not saying consistently that, though. And also, you don't know. The scale just might fuck up. And uh, you maybe maybe it's 400 pounds. Maybe you're 764 pounds. Maybe it's saying you're 364 pounds over my limit. Maybe it's saying that. Maybe it's trolling you. Who fucking knows, bro? <laughs> I didn't do it. I, I really Showing consistently. Don't know how she showed us it fucking once. That. Once <laughs> you know, since then. Um, I'm sorry if that doesn't fit your narrative or you know, the truth in you your eyes very um deceptive to your audience but that's uh -huh, sure is. yeah sure you know if my if hey my bro how about you go to that doctor like everyone suggests and you get weighed there fine fucking do that go go to the doctor get one of those scales that can take a truck get on that and like i don't know weigh yourself and we'll see what happens then if, if you are 360 points cool doesn't make a difference like it will still laugh at you because you still look fucking ridiculous and that is depressing if, if you're 360 points and you're that fucking size bro i'm sorry it's not uh, deceptive uh, i've shown you it numerous times because it's deceptive of you to say that because since the start of this you've shown us fucking once and the last time i remember you showing it was in june my weight was too high for my scale it would either show oh pounds literally literally we're fucking we're just we've hit rewind boys like it did at the doctors no it, it didn't would say, <laughs> 
or it would say a bunch of zeros or something like that. It would oh, oh, so now it's a bunch of zeros because she real. Oh, that's why she did it again because she realizes how fucking stupid she's like. It would just show a bunch of numbers, and I, I, I mean, it wouldn't show numbers. It would only show zeros. <laughs> why would it? Why would it only show zeros? Why would it when I get to show any number? Why would it show zeros? That doesn't make sense. Oh, I love. I was laughing at her for like, clearly just repeating that, but it's, it's because she's trying to rewrite the narrative there. Oh, fantastic! Say, Thirty to That seems later, deceptive, so guys. Like, what the uh, scales deceptive is. guys. Anyway. Oh God. Um, so bad. It just amazes me the really asinine things people come up with. Oh, what's um, up? It's a fat and people want to pick it up. <laughs> um. Oh, she annoyed herself so much she doesn't even remember her own fucking train of thought. That's adorable. I love her argument. It was like, it was like the time she did the argument. It was like, well, guys, I clearly cut PBJ's uh, claws because here's a clip of me once saying I cut her claws. Even though, even at the time, people were pointing out that it doesn't make sense because, you know, like, PBJ never let me cut her claws and would freak out if I ever went near her claws. But, you know, here's a clip of me once saying that I cut her claws or something. I don't fucking know. There, that's proof that I never abused my cat. This is just like, oh, uh, guys, well, once in a doctor's office, a scale showed this number... And I'm assuming that's how all skills work everywhere now. Thank you very much. I win. <laughs> I'm going to weigh myself tomorrow, actually. I can't wait. Keep track of that. Sure. But um, another thing I wanted to add about, you know, my scale being broken. Um, when have I ever cared um, at all about how I look? To uh, when you went on your anniversary dinner and you went to an empty restaurant. <laughs> When, when you accidentally let slip when you're talking about the keto thing, when you're talking about how your social anxiety will go and you, you won't feel as uncomfortable going to restaurants, like that, when you accidentally said that, uh, getting in and out of the tuk-tuk, getting in and out of the boat, um, literally any time you've ever left your apartment, you always go at like 3 a.m., um, avoiding places, going to that Asiatic market in Thailand before it even fucking opened because you were avoiding people. I, I, you know what? I feel like I could keep going. I feel like I probably should stop, though. People, like, <laughs> like there's I'm so many examples. For my health, not sure, my looks. I believe you. I've yeah, never hidden sure. myself from the camera. Uh -huh. I used to, you've seen me in the past, the, the ball, the exercise ball. Yeah, um, so? Coming on camera, just barely clothed. Uh-huh. Um, yeah. I'm, I'm, I, I, I love even she's paused and is staring off here. Because even she's, like, looking for her fucking point. Because it's like, yes, you made a freak show of yourself for money and attention online in the privacy of your home. But it's very different when you're with someone who actually might want to sleep with you. When you're out in public where normal people can gawk at you and laugh at you. Remember that time you, you went to that, that market late at night because you thought everyone would be gone. But then those people like laughed at you and took a picture off you. And then you had to quote unquote re-upload the live stream because of copyright claim but you never cut it out even though you did cut it out i literally watched the two of them back to back and you actually did so you were lying saying that you'd left it in when you actually didn't because you just knew no one no one was going to sit down and watch fucking both of them back to back maybe that like yes it's very different you humiliating yourself and being a big fat mess on camera for money on youtube as opposed to doing it in public that that's pretty clear right like it's why people with social anxiety are able to do youtube but they can't like talk to someone in public. It's it, is it? This isn't hard, is it? <laughs> uh, can't wait. Maybe maybe she stares off hard enough. She'll find her point. Doesn't nope. make any sense. This theory doesn't nope. make any sense. I what's funny? Wow! Is I literally it... just shit all over your theory in like four fucking seconds. <laughs> there you go, guys. <laughs> These accusations are coming from people. Oh my god! She's gonna call them um, fat. The actors who literally. Oh my god. Do not cam up or show even their face. So they don't show any part of themselves. I do. I'm potato. So, I'm, I'm a wee potato dude. <laughs> they don't show any part of themselves. Like, we all know she's talking about FFG, and FFG has shown herself. Like, who the fuck else is she talking about? Like, I don't know. Are, are there many other people who, like, don't cam up when they talk? I, I know loads of people who cam up when talking about it. And also, so, you don't need to have a picture online to shit on Chantel. Chantel is the most shit honorable person I have ever seen. She, she, she is like the bottom of the barrel. Like I said, she is like a one. If you are like a 1.1, you're qualified to shit on her for her appearance and everything like that. And I'm going to say, Chantel, there ain't many lower than you. So, yeah, they don't need to have a picture. My potato dude is honest to God more fuckable than you. So, yes, they are. My potato dude is allowed to shit on you. I'm sorry, but here I am in front of you. Yeah, it's I have fucking. No reason to maybe it's. You do. Three hundred and six. Because stares off into the fucking distance again. I can't wait, bro. Like, I, do you want to address at any point why you fucking hide indoors at all times, and when you go out, you go out when places are closed? 
pounds is still heavy. Yeah. And even if I was 600 pounds, I wouldn't be ashamed to show it. You would be. You know, I'm just not you, Bro, you literally said you have social anxiety because you're weird uh, and going to restaurants. You, you, you let accidentally let that slip. Boo hoo for you. There's people that's ashamed of myself. And you are ashamed of you yourself. Look, um, at me who's showing myself on camera. You constantly talk. Versus people bro, you constantly talk about your social anxiety and your fucking depression and all and how you want to fucking lose weight to get that to go away. You, obviously, obviously, if you if you think it will go away once you lose weight, obviously it is connected to your fucking weight. That's obvious. Who hide behind a camera and judge other people and call them fat, whatever. I mean, hello. Anyway. But, I'm sorry, bro, I would love you to search again. Go back, go back. Follow the, the breadcrumbs that you like to try and find whatever fucking point you're trying to make. Because if your point is, I'm fat and disgusting on camera for money and people who shit on me aren't. So... Uh, hello? Like, bro, where the fuck was the through line? <laughs> there. Like, where the fuck was the through line? Because I guarantee, if you didn't fucking make money by being a fucking freak show that people laughed at online, you wouldn't do it. Because you said you wouldn't do it. You wouldn't do this for free. You wouldn't take all this for free. You already said it. So obviously there is an issue there for you that you are happy to monetize how fat and gross you are, which is true. You are happy to do that online. You, you're very scared of doing it in public, though, as we saw when Forever G showed up at the fucking fashion journey. Like, oh my God, she's stalking me. Oh my God, I'm in such trouble. And you fucking freaked the fuck out about it. Because that was in public, because it was no longer online, and you couldn't deal with it when she was more than happy to show herself. And she is clearly the person you're talking about. She was more than happy to show up. Like, like your little skit where it's like, oh, and we caught a reflection of you in the mirror, and you didn't like that. It's like, she literally posed for a fucking photograph with you. Whereas it's like, so she accidentally caught, exposed herself online. No, people fucking saw her because she took a picture with you. <laughs> um... There you so, go. Fantastic. What a point. Anyway, so yeah, I just wanted she's to She's so upset. Update, um, just taking it easy. I love she's so upset. She's so fucking angry constantly about this. And she's like, oh, I'm actually hello guy. And it slips back into the low BMI voice the second she stops fucking ranting about haters. Um, gonna be spending the next while trying too fast. Oh my god, we're back to this point again. Fucking skip until she actually talks about something now. Okay, like the video is... The, the rest of it is pretty much just her explaining... What a fat storage is, and said, like, "Guys, we store our fats on our bodies to use as energy when we need." It. It's just like the most like holy shit. I also remember being six years old and learning this. <laughs> Jesus Christ! Like it was just like nothing. Like there was nothing. She she might join a center, maybe. Actually, we'll probably just do it online because she suddenly remembered that whole bit about her being humiliated and embarrassed about going out and seeing people in public. You know, because she's so fucking fat. But so instead, she's going to maybe, maybe try and find a nutritionist online so she can relearn what nutrition is. It's like, bro, why the fuck? You're like 39. Why do you need to learn what nutrition is? You apparently had binge eating disorder. That's what you're blaming for being like 450 pounds. Why do you need to learn what nutrition is? You should know what nutrition is. You are blaming a binge eating disorder, not a lack of knowledge about nutrition. This is fucking stupid. Other fact, Irishman here, never mind. The fast is over. She has failed once again. She is back to eating chicken poutine. She has olives in her, in her food. It's salty as all shit. She's no longer doing keto. Never mind. I, this reaction's already gone too long. And I stopped and looked, and literally like six minutes ago, she posted this up. I was like, okay, good. Fantastic. We've already finished the storyline. What a fucking failure. The end. Have a good one. Take care of yourselves. Bye-bye.